Andrew's back in the driver's seat today. And we're about to pass a road train. Look at our road train. Thanks, Mr. Road Train. We'll be on our way. Feeling good back in the driver's seat? Yeah, I just had to wait like 10 minutes to get past that truck, but you don't want to rush these things. No. Better to arrive day late than dead on time, is that what they say? Oh, I, don't know what the, I don't know what the saying is, but you can't really see too much around those trucks, and they're about 60 metres long, so you just got to make sure you've got heaps of straight road here, yeah? So we've been staying at the Allendale Pool for the last couple of days. We turned up here just before Anzac Day weekend and it was packed, so we left and came back. And it's okay, it's a bit stinky. It's pretty busy still. We didn't go for a swim because the water looks pretty gross. Heaps of birds here. Just been watching a kookaburra. And there's thousands of corellas. I think they're corellas. Anyway, they've all just taken off so I'll uh, get some video of them when they come back. We one of those mornings today where there was a heavy dew last night and we can't get the camper to dry out. Uh, so I think the thing with this campsite was that it used to be $10 per person per night. But because of, well I'm assuming because they've got this amoebic meningitis that lurks in the water here, they've made it free. So it's heaps busy in there. It's not great. I mean, I wouldn't want to pay ten dollars per person per night to stay here, but free, it's okay. Yeah, it's a shame that the birds haven't come back in full force, though. So it was pretty epic when there was thousands of them. Last night we arrived at the other Lucky Bay, which isn't really a bay of any kind of description. It's just like a beach on the Indian Ocean really windy as is to be expected probably still pretty windy now so we're just going for a walk up the beach just to see what's going on apparently there's a lagoon which we've found we might come down here for a swim later water's pretty cold pretty weedy in parts it's been a nice walk though the dunes are cool but scared to drive down here they might get stuck So we're on the reef now, it's still really windy, but it's pretty cool. Some rock pools, Sonia likes rock pools, we've seen half a crab. Yeah, bit of crayfish. Yeah, all the like half eaten wildlife. And what appears to be the remnants of an octopus. I think it was getting eaten by gulls. Make great bait. I wonder if the, uh, wonder if the gulls got them. Oh, here's a crab as well. Dead. 
going for a walk down the beach at sunset because it's six o'clock and we've finished dinner and dishes and we were considering going to bed because there's not a lot else going on around here so made ourselves go for a walk instead Whoa. Nah, the sun's gone, but it's still pretty cool. Are you getting some B-roll? So we just went on our first snorkel at Lucky Bay. We thought it was going to be a bit average, it turned out to be pretty amazing. So we might just take you back in there later, show you how good it is. What do you think? That was awesome. Yeah, really good. Seated expectations. Lucky Bay, who would have thought? Stay driving on sand or proper soft sand. Yeah, I was a little bit anxious, but time pressures, bit of momentum, all good. Although we're not there yet. Yeah. So we're back at Lucky Bay. Yesterday we had a change of wind, which meant we couldn't go back out for a second snorkel, which is when we were going to do film with the GoPro. So we're going to take out this morning and see if we can see some similar stuff we saw yesterday, but it's looking good at the moment. We're going to head out to those rocks and see what we can see. So this is a nice shallow bit it just suddenly drops off. We're going to go out to those rocks there. Looks far, but it's not really. The docks are go. Just so you think we could get in door here. <laughs> adventure sausage. Adventure brody. 